Have you ever wondered why belly fat is so hard to lose? It's a question that's puzzled many for years, and today we aim to unravel the enigma. Belly fat, you see, is a unique beast, more stubborn than fat found in other regions of your body. This resistance can be attributed to the two distinct types of fat stored in our bodies, subcutaneous and visceral. Subcutaneous fat, the kind that resides just beneath our skin, is what we typically associate with a little extra padding on our bodies. It's less metabolically active and easier to lose. Meanwhile, visceral fat, the type that wraps itself around our vital organs, is a different story. It's metabolically active, meaning it burns off at a slower rate, making it harder to lose. This fat plays a pivotal role in our body's function, but too much of it can lead to serious health issues. Now that we've uncovered the mystery of belly fat, let's delve into the science of how to lose it. To understand how to lose belly fat, we first need to understand how our bodies store and burn fat. Our bodies are rather like meticulous accountants when it comes to energy management. They keep a close eye on the energy we consume, in the form of calories, and the energy we expend through our daily activities and bodily functions. When we consume more calories than we burn, the surplus energy is stored in fat cells for later use. This is the process of fat storage. Now, imagine fat cells as tiny energy reserves filled with potential fuel for your body. The size and number of these fat cells can increase or decrease, depending on how often and how much we overindulge in our calorie intake. Here's where the science gets interesting. When your body needs energy and there's no incoming food to break down, it begins to withdraw energy from these fat cells. This process known as lipolysis breaks down the stored fat into glycerol and free fatty acids. These substances then enter your bloodstream and are delivered to your muscles, organs and other tissues to be used as fuel. This is how the body burns fat for energy. But wait, there's more. The speed at which your body uses or burns this energy is determined by your metabolism. In essence, your metabolism is like the engine of your body, burning fuel to keep you moving, breathing, thinking and yes, even sleeping. A faster metabolism means more energy is used and therefore more fat is burned. However, it's important to note that everyone's metabolism operates at a different pace, influenced by factors such as age, gender, physical activity levels and genetic makeup. This is why some people seem to burn off their lunch in a flash, while others may struggle to lose even a pound or two. So, if the body burns fat for energy, why is belly fat so hard to lose? Let's find out. The truth is, belly fat is often the last to go because of how our bodies are programmed. This is an undeniable reality that many of us grapple with in our fitness journeys, stemming from an intriguing concept known as fat distribution patterns. This theory explains why some individuals may lose fat in their face or arms before their belly, while others may experience the exact opposite. Delving deeper, science tells us that our bodies are biologically designed to store excess energy as fat for potential lean times ahead. This storage, however, does not occur uniformly across our bodies. Instead, it follows a specific pattern that's largely determined by our genetics. You can think of it as an inherited blueprint, dictating where your body tends to accumulate fat and in what order it chooses to burn it off. For many, the belly is often the body's preferred storage site, partly due to the presence of two types of fat, subcutaneous and visceral. Subcutaneous fat is the jiggly kind that you can pinch, located just under the skin. Visceral fat, on the other hand, is stored deep in the abdomen, surrounding our internal organs. Interestingly, our bodies tend to hold on to visceral fat as a protective mechanism, making it more challenging to shed. This, combined with the fact that most people naturally have more fat cells in their belly area, means that belly fat often proves stubbornly resistant to our best fat-burning efforts. Moreover, factors such as age, hormone changes and stress can further influence our fat distribution patterns, often leading to an increase in belly fat. In particular, as we age, our metabolic rate slows down and our muscle mass decreases, resulting in a higher propensity to store fat in the belly area. But don't despair. While it may be challenging, it's certainly not impossible to lose belly fat. Understanding the science behind fat distribution and the unique challenges associated with belly fat is the first crucial step towards effectively addressing it. Armed with this knowledge, we can begin to devise a strategy that works in harmony with our body's natural tendencies, rather than against them. So how do you effectively lose belly fat? The answer lies in a combination of diet, exercise and lifestyle changes. Let's begin with diet, 
the importance of a balanced diet cannot be overstated. It's not just about reducing calorie intake, but ensuring those calories are nutritious. Whole grains, lean proteins, fruits and vegetables should be staples in your diet. These foods not only provide the body with essential nutrients, they also keep you satiated, reducing the likelihood of reaching for those calorie-dense, nutrient-poor snacks. Also, it's crucial to stay hydrated. Water aids in digestion and keeps the metabolism humming. Now, on to exercise. While it's a common misconception that you can lose fat from specific areas of the body, known as spot reduction, science tells us this is a myth. However, don't be disheartened. Regular full body exercises like swimming, running or high intensity interval training can increase your overall fat burn, which will eventually lead to a reduction in belly fat. Strength training is also beneficial as it helps to build muscle and the more muscle you have, the more calories your body burns, even at rest. Lastly, lifestyle changes. Adequate sleep is often overlooked in the quest to lose belly fat. Sleep deprivation can disrupt your metabolism and increase your appetite, leading to weight gain. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. Additionally, managing stress can also play a significant role in weight loss. High stress levels can trigger the body to produce cortisol, a hormone that can lead to increased belly fat. So, find activities that help you unwind and stay relaxed, whether it's yoga, meditation, reading, or simply taking a walk in the park. Remember, while the journey may be challenging, the results are well worth the effort. It's not just about losing the belly fat, but building a healthier, happier you. So, take it one day at a time, and before you know it, you'll be looking and feeling better than ever. Now that we've uncovered the science behind losing belly fat, it's time to put this knowledge into action. Let's briefly recap what we've explored today. We've delved into the mystery of belly fat, unraveling its stubborn nature and the reasons why it's often the last to bid adieu. We've navigated the labyrinth of science, explaining how our bodies metabolize fat and why belly fat in particular is so tenacious. We've also discussed the challenges of losing belly fat, acknowledging that it's a daunting task, yet one that is entirely achievable. We've shared a plethora of effective strategies that can help you conquer this challenge. From dietary changes to exercise regimens, it's clear that there is not a single one-size-fits-all solution. It's a combination of these methods, tailored to your individual needs and lifestyle, that will pave the way to success. Yet the most crucial takeaway from this discourse is the importance of patience and consistency. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a healthy toned body. It's the small, consistent changes that, over time, lead to significant results. It's not about quick fixes or magic pills. It's about a lifestyle change that promotes overall health and well-being. If you found this video helpful and want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and remember, your health is your wealth.